Welcome at Yongia Mixing Technology. My name is Bart Brouwer and I work as Area Sales Manager for Yongia. Yongia offers a wide range of mixing and steering equipment which is based upon many years of experience and fundamental research. In this video we want to introduce you to batch crystallization. To explain the process of crystallization, first we need to explain how we have set up this lab scale test unit. We have prepared a 10 liter vessel with a heating and cooling coil to increase or lower the temperature. We also have connected the laptop to the lab scale mixer unit to show the temperature drop once we start the crystallization process. We have chosen the cup mixer for this lab scale unit. Of course, we could also choose for a hydroprop set of blades. As you can see, there is a rest steerer unit on the agitator shaft to provide high velocity on the bottom of the tank to make sure that we have sufficient flow over the flat bottom. The agitator mixing elements shall need to avoid a too high shear effect since crystallization is all about gentle mixing top over bottom. The vessel is filled with DM water at ambient temperature. First, we need to increase the water temperature to approximately 50 degrees Celsius. This will be done by warm water from the tap, connected to the heating coil. Once the high temperature is reached, the crystallization process can start. To create crystals, we have chosen to use sodium sulfate, also known as Na2. SO4. We will dissolve 2.5 kg of sodium sulfate in 10 liters of DM water of 50 degrees Celsius. To start the crystallization process, we first need to lower the temperature of the fluid. Therefore, cold water is flowing through the cooling coil. The combination of the cooling coil and the agitator enables the temperature to drop very quickly to the required start temperature of approximately 35 degrees. At this point, we need to start lowering the temperature less quickly, until we reach the required temperature of 18 degrees. During the process, the crystals will bond with the DM water and become crystal water. If this process is running at a too high shear, the crystal water will become turbid and undefined particles of crystals will form. However, we want a uniform, homogeneous crystal size. And to reach that, it's a very important that the agitator is running smoothly at 275 rotations. Meanwhile, the temperature drops less rapidly. And if we look closely, we can see the crystals form. The agitator is letting the crystals grow while avoiding these to settle on the bottom of the tank. By the time the crystals have grown, according to the requested uniform particle size, it is time to harvest these crystals. Normally, this is reached by means of a filter. In this case, we will obtain the crystals with a screen. You have just witnessed a batch crystallization process, produced by Yongia Mixing Technology. If you are interested in the process knowledge of Yongia Mixing Technology, please contact us at yongia.com or give us a call. We are always happy to answer your questions about batch crystallization. Thanks for watching.